all three data sets that they looked at, which included projectile points, quarries, and a statistical analysis of the radiocarbon dates that would be associated with human activity called SPA data, basically showed that there was a major human population decrease, which they refer to as a bottleneck, or alternatively, population reorganization, which they would in, uh, describe as being dramatic changes in settlement patterning, right? So if, though, the Clovis culture survived and simply moved somewhere, then it should be apparent that, okay, they're Cultural activity ended here, but there's a continuation of it over here. Do we find that? That's the question. Um, the SPA results provide evidence that similar declines or changes occurred across much of the remainder of the Northern Hemisphere. Of the Northern Hemisphere. Wow it seems, with the exception of the Middle East. A wide range of evidence indicates that conditions during the initial few centuries of the Younger Dryas caused a significant drop in human populations or dramatic reorganizations of settlement in North America and possibly also broadly throughout the Northern Hemisphere. And we will take a look here at... I just want to say the quarries they're talking about are usually flint quarries, right? They're talking about where yeah, they're mining we're... tool material. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here is showing from the Paleo Indian database, showing distribution of various points, artifacts um, over North America prior to the start of the Younger Dryas, particularly look at how dense. You see on the eastern woodlands and along the eastern coastal region. And undoubtedly, you'll note that this yellow line here is the shelf, which is very close to where the uh, coastline would have been. Now, during, at the late glacial maximum, which was uh, the lowest. Now, by the time we get to the Younger Dryas, sea level has come up, you know, significantly from, it, from its minus 400 feet low point, but it's already started to drown the coastlines that would have been, if there were people there, assuming there were people there, that would have been um, occupying the coastlines um, prior to the Balling and the Alarod going back into the late glacial maximum, which takes us back 14 to 15 to 16,000 years ago. And if there would have been a concentration of human settlement along the coastlines, of course, you know, even by the time we get to the uh, Younger Dryas and the first appearance of the Clovis, the coastline of the late glacial maximum is already underwater. So there's already been a forced migration um, landward away from the sea because of rising sea levels that were underway at the beginning of the Younger Dryas. Um, but yeah, so here you see the number of points in the distribution. Um, and then this, this area here is the, um, the, the Mississippi Valley, the Great Basin, the Colorado Plateau area. So then we'll go and we'll see a thousand years later, the oh, Folsom. Man. Now, look, look at the eastern sector of North America. And let's compare. Go back, Clovis, a thousand years later. Wow. Look at over here along in California, along the Western coast, in the, in the Great Basin, uh, in the Basin and Range province over here, Clovis points and uh, the, um, the prevalence of Clovis points. And now we'll come a thousand years later. Now, what we're seeing here in this area is Folsom. Now, an interesting subject for study and further clarification is going to be what is the precise linkage between Clovis and Folsom. Right. However, in many cases, there appears to be this hiatus. In some cases, three, four, five hundred years. In other cases, like it said, up to 1400 years before you begin to see um, 
the the um, advent of this new cultural type, which was given a different name because it was just so distinctly different. So it's called the Folsom rather than the than the Clovis. Quite impressive. Also notice up here into Alberta, the um, this is yeah. now during the period when the presumably the ice free corridor has begun to open up. And so Clovis people have begun to move in their hunters and so on. And they've left a bunch of artifacts behind. And then a thousand years later, they're gone. So that, that's a pretty uh, impressive graphic there. Then we've got another graphic here, which is quarries. And the number of artifacts that were found are typically these quarries, they're going to be cutting the stone and then they're going to be, you know, uh, chipping the stone in order to create their, their points, their spear points and whatever other artifacts are being made out of the stone of these particular quarries. So they looked at um, three different quarries, one at Topper, South Carolina, one in Tennessee, and one in Kentucky, all which showed considerably active. You know, you find the number of, I forget what the exact area is of that they were looking at, but in whatever the unit area, whether it was a certain number of square meters, I think it was probably a certain number of square meters based on the total artifacts found. You'll see in Topper, you go from 400 uh, and some, maybe like 450 at the Tennessee one, it looks like about 800. Adams, Kentucky, you're getting up there close to a thousand artifacts found. Then you get to the Younger Dryas right here, transition from green to red. So in other words, along with the abandonment of these cultural sites, that you saw it in the previous diagram, you've also got the abandonment of these quarries. So in other words, they're showing activity for two, three, 400 years, considerable, considerable, considerable amount of activity, and then boom, no activity at all. They killed all the mammoths, didn't need to make any more tools. Well, that right? must have been it. <laughs> so, Well, one of the things about uh, Clovis artifacts is the, uh, you know, that's, that's looked at in terms of their their um, level of expertise is the actual materials that they went to great lengths to get in order to make them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it is interesting. It's like that knowledge, e even if the Clovis and Folsom people are the same people or connected, it's like they lost that knowledge of how to find or you know, the, the right materials, yeah, the, the best locations. materials. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not only the locations, but they just, they never, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, recaptured the, yeah. So it just seems to me like a, a loss of knowledge about where to go, where to get the material, why you would get that material, why it makes better artifacts. And that mm -hmm. correlates in the, in the very steep drop off of activity in the quarries where they were That's, getting the material. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Thank you.